Hello guys! So you might remember from one of our previous videos, but we had to leave the Louise yet fairly quickly because we had an issue with our furling system. If you missed that video, I'll put a link in the description down below. As soon as we arrive to the Solomon Islands, we order the part that we need to replace and it will take about two weeks to get to us. In the meantime, it means that we can't really use the head cell fully deployed, but it really doesn't matter because there really isn't any wind here anyways. We also had an issue with a leaking window, which we tried to fix with some silicone while Janstadt was visiting. Unfortunately, we will soon discover that using silicon in this country is pointless because it's way too hot and humid and nothing holds. So this fix might have to wait till later. Until now, we only had the issue of the furling system and the leaking window, which didn't uh, prevent us from discovering the Solomon Island, as you might have seen on the previous video. If you missed it, again, I'll put a link in the description down below. Make sure to watch it because it's a good one. This was the only issue until now, but apparently Murphy leaves on this boat. And as we were trying to leave to get on with the rest of our trip, the worst happened. We hit the reef and we bent the rudder. And because the two rudders are connected, we can't move any of them. The wind was actually pushing us on the reef, so we had to use the engine on very high speed to get out of there. The starboard one overheated and stopped, and now it's not working anymore. So it looks like the list of repair is getting longer and longer. So the goal was to get back to Munda because we knew we could anchor safely, but it wasn't that easy with no rudders. But luckily, we could count on the locals to help us. So the rudder is bent, so we're gonna try to put it down five centimeters and lock it again and see if we can turn it whenever it's down there. Um, the issue is we don't know if it's gonna drown or not, so we're gonna have to tie all those ropes around this stuff to try to keep it afloat and not have it under the water. So we're gonna tie those ropes and see if we can unbolt everything and drop it down. So a quick update, uh, we managed to drop the tiller down a bit, like by a few centimeters. But in order to do that, we had to hammer on the rudder shaft, which is, well, it's not good, but it did the job. So we managed to secure the shaft, but now we can't put the tiller back on. So essentially the rudder is in the middle so that it doesn't change our direction. The shaft is secure so that the rudder is not going to fall down or anything. And then we've put a lot of ropes and stuff like this to make sure that the rudder won't move with like uh, waves or currents or anything like this. And that will do it for now until we go back to Gizo where we can hopefully get the shaft straightened or get a new one done. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what we can do. But for now, we're gonna take the cat for a test run just to make sure that everything holds. Jan is gonna drive and I'm gonna go behind in the water just to have a look at the rudder and see if it moves or not. Test run done. 
So we had to make a couple changes, but the rudder stays straight. So we can actually maneuver, which is really good. Let's see if we can move tomorrow and go somewhere. Next, we had somebody come over to try and fix the engine. The first thing he did was to check the fuel line, the fuel filter and the fuel pump. No issues there. Do you want me to go in the water in case you drop something? Oh. I'll go. Yeah? Yeah, I'll go in the water. Okay. Back up here. <laughs> then, while Jan was playing, he checked and cleaned the spark plugs. Finally, after checking the ignition part, the O level and the thermostat, he readjusted the throttle valve. The engine starts, which is a good news, but it's still overheat after 30 minutes or so. According to him, the next step would be to clean the carburetor, but the engine needs to come out of the boat for that. Now that the boat can sort of move again, we're gonna make our way back to Giza to try and find some help. But with one rudder that is not moving that much, and no autopilot, it's not that easy. As if it wasn't enough, now the batteries have an issue and they dropped uh, below 30% during the night, although we were at 55% before. And we cannot charge them anymore. Generator isn't charging, solar panels aren't charging, so no rudder, no sail. One engine has a problem and now the batteries. It's starting to be a lot guys, but we are still hanging. We are on our way to Giza, so hopefully they can help. But they don't do much electricity here, so I don't think lithium batteries are gonna be well known by those guys. In Giza we were told to go to Liapari because over there we can lift up the boat. I mean, I don't see why. It's standing on three pieces of wood, piling up. But it works. Come in! <laughs> Let's the repairs begin. So the first thing is that we need to take the tiller out of the boat. And the problem with that is because in order to drop it down, we kind of hammered on it. Uh, we deformed the shaft and it's not going through anymore. So first thing, we need to file it.
The problem is because you are not direct. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're going to take a look at the engine, what it's out of the water. So we essentially want to look at the lower unit and we want to look at the water pump and the impeller. I didn't think it'd be that dirty inside. Okay, the engine is clean, so we'll test that out later. Now they're ready to take the rudder out of the boat because they've done everything they needed to take the shaft out. Okay guys, our shaft isn't that long, that's just the tool they're using to push it on the other side. Okay, I'm a little bit longer too, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right now. I'm out now. Okay. Okay. We do two that too? Huh? No, two that I make him wrong. Yeah, me no have team car and get money. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Hey, two run now, my time. You put this in. wrong, yeah? Hey! Two run. You said long one now, but I'm looking hard. You said one now, my car. You see, it's right. Very right, yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, Huh? This is the our strongest man, we call it Samson. <laughs> While they are taking the rudder in the shop for repairs, let's go and explore the island. Why is it so hard? You like it? Yeah. What about yours? I've got the big part. the day over here is getting pretty dark so the rudder is almost fixed so essentially they had to open it in order to straighten the shaft because the shaft was even bent inside they redid the rudder they put some fiberglass and now it's out there drying uh, hopefully tomorrow morning they can put it back on the boat and we can be on our way because what you don't know is what looks like it's been like one afternoon uh, actually took five days it's not too much of an issue in terms of time but it is in terms of price because we have to pay for the boat to be on hard stand it's getting quite expensive especially for something that isn't the final fix because now that the rudder has been bent once it's actually very weak and it needs to be changed which we can only do in a country like New Caledonia or Australia. It means that what we are doing now is just in order to take us to the next country so it's getting quite expensive for that. While we were here we were also able to talk to the company that makes our batteries and we were able to figure out what the issue is. So essentially the issue is that the batteries are out of sync which means that when they display 100% they're not really at 100%. So essentially what we need to do to fix the issue is resync them and to do that we need to fully charge them uh, which isn't that easy to do here because the solar and the wind in this country don't give us a lot of power and that means that in order to go all the way up to 100% we're going to need to use the generator and we can only use it a couple of hours a day which brings us an extra 15% so it's going to take us a while uh, to fully charge these batteries but at least we know what the issue is and we can fix it so i guess that's that i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time we post a video